Hey, it's Rubber Ducky here. We're back with episode 63 of the Axis Campaign in Close Combat 2. Check out the Axis Campaign playlist for any battles you may have missed. Click the subscribe button if you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed. I'm getting a ton of feedback, so if you've got something to say, please be sure to add a comment down below. And lastly, if you enjoy the video, click the like button. 9th SS Panzer Division made a massive push late on day 6. They were able to eliminate the entire complement of Polish troops at the landing zone and take some initiative into the ceasefire. Unfortunately, after returning to combat early on day 7, the Allies rallied and seized the map. It's now 0800 and the Poles are looking to move away from the drop zone and into a position to support the Brits at Arnhem. A combination of many combat environments, drill will be a test of your mettle. Lines of sight are generally short, but occupation of the church bell tower can give you an advantage. Okay, so we have 13 points, but our Schutzen's missing 3 men and our reserve's missing 1. Um... Okay, SS Infantry has an MG42, so we're going to take that. That will leave us two. Uh, we could retire the Schutzen and the Reserve. That would give us eight points. We could just basically take another Schutzen. That's the same number of men. Um, it might be better, just because like the Reserves are weak. But having the units split in different locations might be more beneficial than having seven men in one location. I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. And I, either we hold it or we don't. I don't think that's going to be the deciding factor. Okay, so we want to just hold the flag. I'm thinking the church. So let's put the MG up here. Um, I don't know. The, like, nothing has a good line of sight, really. So I think we're going to kind of have to wait for them to come into the open. But... The other option is, I'd, you know, we could go down to the south, but there's just no flags down there. Like, I think we have to hold up here just to hold one or both of these flags and hope to get to a ceasefire. So this is where I was thinking we'd split the troops. Um, Schutzen, I don't know, maybe this three-story. And I guess everybody can be on defend. And then the reserve, I think we're just going to put them next to the Schutzen right now. But do we put them in this two-story, I guess? So my thoughts are kind of that with them split, if I need to peel off the Schutzen, the reserve can keep firing and, you know, so on. And we can fall back and make one last stand in the church or, you know, wherever we end up. So I'm not exactly sure where they'll come from, but I'm pretty sure we'll see them come through the buildings. I don't think they'll come from like the mm -hmm. bottom right or anything like that. I think they'll come kind of generally straight at us. Maybe like up from uh, the road, the buildings at the road but I, I think it's going to be all centralized around the cemetery area. They sure are taking their sweet time, though. There's no good place to see, so that's why I think... Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're in the two-story, maybe? Um, but that's why I think it's so hard to keep the MG42 here, because we don't really know if they're going to come from their right flank, and we need to have line of sight out of the building, or if they're going to come up from below, and we really want to be able to see the cemetery. At this point now that we're in contact, I guess it doesn't really matter. If they start coming from the right, we'll have to hopefully spot that and move and reposition, but as of right now, it looks like they're all to the south of us, kind of coming up from the road. The MG42, though, he, he had a thousand rounds, but that's not so much ammo that we can afford to just let him open up. And I still don't really see anything to the right. So we'll kind of just toggle back and forth. There's a couple of guys. But he can't hit anything over there. So, like, we got to wait for some clear shots and then let him open up or we're not going to stand a chance here. We'll run out of ammo long before. Uh-oh. There's a bunch of them. Um... All right, we'll wait. They might leave that brown one story. That's about the only building that when they leave it, we'll probably have a decent line of sight on them. All right, so they're just yellow because they're underpowered, but not because they've taken more casualties or anything like that. I mean, they're content just shooting it out right now. Can we... No, we can't get... Oh, maybe we can't get the Vickers. Get him. Get him. Open up. Suppressed. He's not suppressed. 
that now he shoots. Keep getting glimpses of this Vickers team, but we can't actually see him or hit him. Wasted 175 rounds on nothing so far. I don't know. Maybe if we shoot out of the very top edge of this building, we can hit over there. Oh, pee it. Light him up. Oh, dude's just running. Lay him out. He is coming straight at you. That is an easy target. What is going on right now? All right. You guys engage as well. Hold on. Rifle. I can't believe we can't hit the Piet. Anybody? He's still crawling there. Looks like the reserve is scattering. All right, he's well into the cemetery. He's actually getting very close. We should be able to hit him. I would like to hit that Vickers though, if we get an open shot on it. All right, get in here, I guess. If you guys are going to retreat, get in here. And put some shots down range. All right, what about that rifle squad? Get some rounds down on these Pia guys. This guy's literally right in front of us. How have we not hit him yet? Like, we can't even identify him. All right, now we're fighting. Time to run. They're coming up on us. Oh my gosh, it's falling apart. It's This is so stupid. I don't know if because we are so high in a four story that like he was close to us and we, we couldn't see down, like our angle of depression wouldn't be enough to see him. Did they seriously wipe the MG42? All right. Says he's, there's still a guy there that we can't see. All right, this is falling apart real quick, and they still haven't accepted a ceasefire. Get up here and shoot. They won't move. This is where it's going to end. 100%. There's teams just walking in the door. We're not even surrendering. We're, we're going down to the last man. Surrender. Oh my god, bro sniped him with a bazooka. I guess it was a Piet. These are these are poles. It was a Piet, but still. Well, we were annihilated, but the delay did achieve a 30 out of 0 progress. We took excessive losses, but there really wasn't much else we could do. And I'm sure they'll want to fight again in an hour, but let's hope for seven. Let's see what's in the details. And just what we expected to see. MG42 had one kill. And Schutzen actually got two, I guess. And Reserve also got two. Same guy in Reserve has two braveries and two cowardices in the same battle. So he was all over the place, very up and down. Being realistic, we weren't going to be able to hold them off with the forces we had. We got wrecked on the landing zone, and we had even fewer assets here. But that's going to wrap up another disappointment. Stay tuned for a strong finish to the campaign. I know we can do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.